All right, guys. So today I'm gonna show. <clears throat> All right, guys. So today I'm gonna be showing you this very cool looking trick. But before I start, I do just want to mention something really quick. So a lot of the times when I do my videos, a lot of you guys comment down below what deck are you using, and I should let you guys know. I probably haven't let you guys know this before, but I do actually put every single deck name and link for where to get it i put all of that information in the description box so if you guys are ever wondering in a video like oh what deck is that that's really cool i want to get it just go to the description i have the name of the deck where to get it and yeah so you guys can do that and you guys can stop commenting like what deck is this because it's in the description you don't have to um keep asking me what deck it is so anyways now we're gonna get into the trick. This is a really, really cool impromptu trick. So, and by the way, this is the national deck by Theory11. So I will leave a link in the description box for where to get this. So here's the performance for the trick. So basically the spectator can go ahead and give the deck a quick little shuffle, just like this. They can shuffle it as much as he or she would like to. But anyways, here's the entire deck, just like this. All the cards completely, completely random, just like this. So anyways, for this trick, all I'm going to have the spectator do is just think of any number between 1 and 13. So let's say they're thinking of any number, let's say they think of 6. So the magician would have no idea what number this is, so the spectator has this number completely just to themselves in their mind. So they're thinking of the number 6. I have no idea what number they're thinking of. So anyways, I tell them to think of that number, and what's going to happen is I'm going to show them 13 cards, the top 13 cards, and they shuffle the deck so it doesn't matter what they are. But um, I'm going to show them the top 13 cards, and all I want them to do is I want them to only remember the card that corresponds with the number that they're thinking of. So in this case, they're thinking of the number 6, so I want them to remember the 6th card that I show them. But if they're thinking of like 2, they would, they would remember the 2nd card. If they're thinking of 5, they would remember the 5th card. If they're thinking of 10, they would remember the 10th card. So basically, they're thinking of 6, so they would just remember the 6th card that I show them. So now I'm going to show them all the cards. And by the way, this entire part um, is done silently. I'm not doing any talking and they're not doing any talking so i'd go all right one two three four five and here's the sixth card so the magician has no idea what they're thinking of but in this case the spectator will be thinking of the ten of hearts because because it's the sixth card so six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and 13. So I asked the spectator, all right, so do you remember your card? And they say yes. So they're thinking of the sixth card, which is the 10 of hearts, but the magician has no idea what they're thinking of. So now the magician says, all right, perfect. So I'm going to go behind my back with the cards and I'm going to make a quick little prediction behind my back because I think I know what your card might be, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'll, I'll make a little prediction here. So the magician goes behind his back and he rearranges the cards just a little bit. And I think I got it. All I have to do is ask the spectator what number they're thinking of between 1 and 13. Not the card, just the number that they're thinking of between 1 and 13. They're thinking of 6, so they say 6. And I say, really? The 6th card? That's interesting because look, behind my back what I did was I actually took one card and I turned it face up. Look, that's not your card. It's only the 2 of spades. Um, but this is sort of like an indicator card because look, if you count 2 cards down from here, look, 1 two right here this card what was your card ten of hearts the ten of hearts and guys the magician has no idea what number they're thinking of no idea what card they're thinking of and this really really works in real life so anyways guys i hope you liked the performance and now for the tutorial all right guys so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw so this trick is actually really really easy all you have to do is just memorize a couple of little steps but once you have those down it's super super easy and you can perform this anywhere anytime any place with just a completely normal or borrowed deck of cards so that just makes for a really really perfect effect so anyways guys i'm going to show you how to do this so we have a normal deck here and it can be completely shuffled by the spectator so once the deck has been shuffled oh god so once the deck has been shuffled by the spectator you're gonna be spreading through the cards just face up showing that they're all random just show them that they're all all the cards are shuffled and random and what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be looking for any card that has value of two so basically just look for any of the twos so you're just gonna look for a two it doesn't matter where which one it is but here here's a two so two of spades I'm gonna see the two and I'm gonna count over four more cards so I'm gonna see the two I'm gonna go one 
two, three, four. And I'm going to cut the rest of the cards up to the top. All I've done is I've moved that two to the fourth position from the top. So you guys can see here. Now we have one, two, three cards. And then the fourth card is the two, just like this. It doesn't matter what two this is. It can be the two of hearts, two of diamonds, two of clubs, two of spades. It doesn't matter which one, but it just has to be a two. So here I have the two of spades in the fourth position, and that is exactly what you want. That's the only like kind of setup that you have to do, but you can do it right in front of the spectator's face, and they will not really like notice what you're doing or anything like that. They shuffle the deck just like this. So you would just say, all right, so here's the deck just like this, completely shuffled completely random, just like this, and yeah, you just set up the trick, just like that. Now that two is in the fourth position. Once again, doesn't matter what two this is, just happens to be the two of spades in this case, but it can be any of the twos. So once you have the two here in the fourth position, you're going to flip the deck back over, face down, and you're going to be explaining the spectator what's going to happen in this trick. So first, you're going to ask them to think of any number between 1 and 13. Just think of it, don't say it out loud. So they're going to think of a number, it doesn't matter which one they're going to think of. And for now, we're not going to pick a number because it'll be a little bit more confusing. So we're just going to have them think of a number and then we're going to say, all right, so once you have your number, I'm going to show you 13 different cards. And what's going to happen, I want you to think of the card that corresponds with that number. So like if you're thinking of eight, think of the eighth card that I show you. If you're thinking of 11, remember the 11th card that I show you and so on, so forth, just like this. So they're thinking of a number and all you're going to do is just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cards from the top of the deck and then put them back on top. But remember, do it slow. Don't do it that fast, obviously, because you want the spectator to see the card and remember it. So be sure to go slow at every single card because remember, you don't know what number they're thinking of. So you have to remember to show them every single card because you don't know what number they're thinking of. So just be sure to go nice and slow. And also keep in mind, you see here that the fourth card you're showing them is that two. So keep that in mind. Once you've shown them 13 cards from the top, all you have to do is say, all right, so now I'm going to go behind my back and I'm going to make a little prediction. This part goes for any number they think of because at this point in the trick, you still have no idea what card they're thinking of and you have no idea what number they're thinking of. So this part applies for every single number that they think of. doesn't matter what number they think of. So what you're going to do is you're going to go behind your back but obviously I'll show you what you're going to do. So just pretend that the cards are behind my back right now. So basically this is what you're doing behind your back. What you're going to do is you're going to count over four cards. You're going to go one, two, three, four. When you get to this fourth card, you're actually going to turn the fourth card over just like this and then square up the deck. Keep in mind, you're not reverse counting the cards. You're, you're not going one, two, th like you're not putting the cards on top of each other. You're just sort of spreading through them like this. So basically, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to count one, two, three, four cards. The fourth card, you're going to turn over, and that's going to be the two. Then you're going to place all the cards back on top. Now you're going to count seven cards. You're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. These seven cards, you're going to square them up just like this. Just hold them in a little packet and biddle grip. You're going to take your thumb, you're going to riffle down just about halfway, place all these seven cards in the middle of the deck, just like this. It doesn't matter where they go. They can go anywhere, but, and also be sure not to like Pharaoh shuffle them in. You don't want to have them separated. You want to have them all together. So just kind of open the deck at any point and place the cards in that opening, just like this. Push the cards in. And now those top seven cards are lost in the middle of the deck. Now what you're going to do is you're going to count the top three cards. You're going to count one, two, three, Take these three cards and simply put them on the bottom of the deck. And that's it. Now you bring your hands forward. And basically what you've just done is you set up the trick so that whatever number they say, it's going to look like the trick went perfect. So this is actually a multiple outs trick. I didn't really explain that before. What this type of trick is, is basically whatever number they tell you that they're thinking of, it's basically going to be a different trick for whatever number they're thinking of. So like if they're thinking of one, it's going to be a certain type of trick. If they're thinking of two, it's actually going to look a little bit different. And if they're thinking of like 11, it's going to look a lot different. So the trick all depends on what number they're thinking of. But that entire setting up process of like putting the cards in the middle on the bottom, flipping over the cards, that has to be done for every single number applied to. It doesn't really matter what number they're thinking of because this, this process of like putting them in the middle and putting it on the bottom, all of that stuff just sets up the trick for the multiple outs. So 
you come back and now you're in this position here. All you have to do is ask the spectator what number they're thinking of. So for tutorial purposes, we are going to be going through every single number between 1 and 13 because I have to show you every single possible outcome that the trick looks like and you guys have to be prepared for every single outcome. Don't worry guys, it's actually a very, very easy pattern to remember once you get them all down. It's super, super easy to remember. So we're going to go through them one by one right now. We're going to start with the number 1. So let's say the spectator says the number they're thinking of is 1. This is what the trick would look like. You're going to take the deck and you're going to spread it out in your hands and you're going to say, check it out guys, I've taken a card and I've turned it over. Obviously this isn't your card, but it's sort of like an indicator card. Now what you're going to do is you're going to count two cards to the right, meaning you're going to count two cards this way, like towards the top of the deck, not this way, but this way. You're going to count towards the top of the deck. So you're going to spread through, show the two, and now you're going to count two cards over, not including the two. So you're going to count one, two and actually not this card but the next card over this card will be their card this card will be the first card that you showed them within the 13 cards and that is the end of the trick for that outcome so now let's say the spectator was thinking of the number two this is what the trick would look like you're going to spread through the cards and show them once again check it out guys i have an indicator card obviously this isn't your card but it actually will tell me where your card is so what you're going to do is you're going to do pretty much the exact same thing and you're going to count two cards to the right you're going to count one two and actually this card right here is going to be their card that they thought of within 13 cards and that will be the end of the trick for number two. So now let's move on to number three. Again, very, very similar to the previous two. So let's say the spectator was thinking of the number three. So we're gonna spread through the cards once again, we're gonna show them the indicator card here, and we're gonna say, all right, so obviously this isn't your card, but I turned this card over for a reason. I actually placed it next to one single card. The card right on top of the two will be the card that they're thinking of, and that will be the end of the trick for the number three. Now let's say the spectator was thinking of the number four. This outcome is actually really, really cool because it's the simplest one. All you have to do is say, behind my back, I took one card and I turned it over your card, the two of spades. Remember guys, the two of spades was the fourth card that you showed them from the top. So this will automatically be their card and that will probably be the easiest outcome. Once you show them this, that's the end of the trick. You can pack up and leave and that's pretty much that. So now let's say the spectator was thinking of the number five. Again, this is very, very similar, very, very easy. You're gonna say, all right, check it out guys. We've taken one card behind my back, the two of spades. Obviously this isn't your card, but I've actually placed it right here on top of one card. And the fifth card is going to be the card right below the two. So the card right next to it on the other side, this will be the fifth card. And that will be the end of the trick for number five. So let's say the spectator was thinking of the number six. So this is just like the performance. All you're going to say is, check it out, guys. Behind my back, I took one card, not your card, but sort of like an indicator card. I turned it over because, look, if you count over two cards now below the two, so you're going to count one and then two, this, this card right here, will be the sixth card and this will be the card that they are remembering and that will be the end of the trick for number six so now let's say the spectator was thinking of the number seven again very very similar all you're going to do is spread through the cards here and you're going to say check it out guys i have an indicator card here i turned it over behind my back and look if you count two cards over so not including the two but you're going to count one two and then the next card here you're going to say look two cards over from the indicator card you're going to go one two next card here this will be the seventh card here this will be the card that they're remembering and that will be the end of the trick for number seven so now let's say they're thinking of the number eight so once you get past the number seven when you when you start going um, from eight to 13 this is where the trick gets a little bit different this is where the outcomes get a little bit different so let's say they're thinking of the number eight it's actually very very simple all you have to do is say what was your card they say whatever the eighth card was i don't remember what it was but they say the name of the card and guess what guys the eighth card is on the bottom of the deck so all you have to do is go like this boom show them the card freak out absolutely amazing that's the end of the trick for the number eight because you've actually placed the eighth card here on the bottom of the deck that's just how this setup works so once you show them this card they're going to freak out and that is the end of the number eight. So now let's say they're thinking of the number nine. So this is a little bit different as well. So what you're gonna have to do here is you're actually going to have to spread through once again to show this two. And you're gonna say, check it out guys, I have my indicator card here and it tells me that your card is the second card from the bottom of the deck. And you're gonna say, it's not the bottom card, but look right next to it, 
should be your card. And this will be the ninth card that they're remembering. So for number 10, again, it's very, very similar to number nine. So what you're going to do is you're going to say, all right, check it out, guys. Look, in the middle of the deck, I turned over one card. It's not your card, but it's an indicator card telling me that your card is two cards down from the bottom and you're going to take one and then two cards. And then this card will be their card right here. The 10th card will be the third card from the bottom. So, so now let's say they're thinking of the number 11. This is kind of interesting. So for number eight and for number 11, only those two numbers, you are not allowed to show this face-up card in the middle because for number eight, remember, all you're doing is you're just flipping over the bottom. You don't, there's no reason to show them this two. That would just seem completely random and completely not important at all. So for number eight, you're just showing them the bottom card. Very, very similar for number 11. You're not showing them this face up card. All you're doing is saying, what is your card? You take the top card and you turn it over. This is the 11th card, the top card, and that will get insane reactions. So I think the numbers four, eight, and 11 have the strongest reactions. So once you show them the top card, this is the 11th card, and that is the end of the trick right there. So let's say the spectator was thinking of the number 12. So this is very, very similar to the previous ones as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread through the cards, show them the indicator card and say, check it out guys, this card is not your card, but it's telling me that your card is the second card from the top of the deck. So obviously if this is the 11th card, this has to be the 12th card. So you're gonna say one, two, and check it out guys, the second card right here will be the 12th card, and this will be the card that they're remembering. That will be the end of the trick for number 12. So now for number 13, the final number is also very, very similar, very, very simple. So you're gonna say, all right, so 13, check it out, guys. I have taken one card here, uh, the two of spades, obviously not your card, but I flipped it over because it's actually an indicator card. If you count two cards over, you're gonna say one, two, and then ask them what their card was and say, check it out their card will be right here, just like that. That will be the 13th card, and that will be the end of the trick for number 13. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much the entire trick. So one more time, I'm actually gonna go through every single outcome just very, very quickly. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you where the cards are. If you guys wanna know how to do the presentation and the pattern, you're gonna have to rewind the video and just rewatch the numbers. But right now, I'm just gonna give a super, super quick recap of where each card is. So the first card, so number one, is actually gonna be right here, three cards over from the two. So this is going to be one, and then two, three, the two itself, this is actually going to be four. So that's four. We have five, six, and seven. And then we're actually going to have the eighth card on the very bottom, ninth card, second from the bottom, 10th card, third from the bottom, 11th card here on top, 12th card, second from the top, and the 13th card is third from the top. And the only times that you cannot show the face up two is eight and 11. Those are the only times that you don't show the face up card. But if they don't name eight or 11, you do have to show this card and you just kind of have to incorporate it in your reveal of the trick. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much the entire trick. So just try your best to memorize those steps. It's very, very simple though. Once you get the hang of it, once you practice it and perform it just a couple of times, you guys should get it down totally fine and you guys should blow people away. Since this is a multiple apps trick, you're not really going to be able to like do that trick again. Like if someone's like, oh, do that again. That was so cool. Um, Yeah. So don't do this trick again because then they're going to see how it's done. This is really just like a one-time trick that you can do for someone. But since it is a one-time trick, it's really just impressive because there's no way that you knew what number and card they're thinking of. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much the trick. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys for my next one. Bye. Thank you.